Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today, I appreciate you. In today's video, I wanna take some time and I wanna share with you all how we can go about developing a lighter hand as a tattoo artist. By the end of this video, you will have some exercises and some practical practices that you can implement on your end to go ahead and develop a lighter tattooing hand. Should you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm gonna highly encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I also have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel. I would also appreciate your support over there as well. Should you find this video helpful and enjoy my content, consider becoming a patron or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. Taking it from the top, what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about what a heavy tattoo hand is and then we can get into some practical practices. For me, the way that I interpret a heavy tattoo hand is by someone who is un or ill informed about tattooing in general. So some people may interpret tattooing where we need to really go in there and dig deep into the skin to get these lines in there not knowing the damage that we are doing. Others may think that it's uh, easy to break open the skin so therefore we have to be real light and all the ink falls out. You can kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to say there there is either uh, misinformation ill-informed uninformed you kind of get the idea so somewhere along the lines whoever is heavy-handed for this specific video we're talking about heavy hands whoever is heavy-handed probably somewhere along the way missed some steps and probably didn't work on the technical side that we're gonna be working on here in this video long story short for me personally a heavy hand is an unfamiliar hand with the technical side of tattooing therefore they tend to blow out every line or every Every other line you kind of get the idea cause their client more pain all in general just unfamiliar with some technical aspects of the technical side of tattooing for me that is what a heavy hand is by now I'm sure we're probably asking how we can go about reversing or avoiding a heavy hand and for me I would highly recommend to practice tattooing balloons I know it sounds oddly silly but just bear with me stay with me until the end of this video and a lot of what I say may just end up helping you on your end if you have any questions I encourage you to drop them down below and I will do my best to assist you in the best possible direction so for me personally if I had a heavy hand then I'm going to go ahead and take a step back and I'm gonna take a look at the technical side of tattooing a heavy hand is just that a heavy hand is not what we want within tattooing it's something that we're causing more pain we're blowing out skin we're ruining artwork you get the idea so this is what we want to avoid at all costs my recommendation to you my exercise that I'm gonna practice with you here today is tattooing these balloons what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow these up and I'm just simply gonna try to pull lines on these balloons without popping them and this is where I'm going to start I would highly recommend to do this for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes and then taking about another 30 minutes and going to fake skin to see if there's any noticeable difference within your hand. I also don't recommend doing this just for one day. Practice over the course of a week, maybe a month, every day. Just practice on tattooing a balloon, make sure that you're not popping it, and then do that for 30 minutes. Again, after that, go to fake skin and then do that for another 30, and then kind of continue this process and then you will notice a difference within your hand. When it comes to tattooing balloons as well, we can use any needle that we want. I don't really want to sit here and tell you what size needles that you should be using. However, what I would recommend is to stay away from smaller configurations. You can see this is a one round liner. I'm going to stay away from one, three, fives, and I'm probably going to just stick with sevens on up. And even for me, seven may be a little thin. So right here, I have a V Select 11 round liner, which is good. Here I have a T, uh, I believe this is TNT tattoo needle. This is an, I think a 14 round liner. This is a rain three round liner. So I'm gonna to wanna to stay away from this on the balloons just because I don't wanna pop them and then discourage me as that's not accurate to what may be happening on human skin. And again, this is just a exercise and the idea for the exercise is to help us develop a light hand which I'm actually gonna show you and talk about more in the demonstration. The needles as well I have an 11 round shader and a five round liner. So I'm probably gonna stick with these three right here. As you get the idea, I'm gonna stay with a bit larger size needle so that way I could avoid popping these right here. So all I wanna do is I wanna blow up a balloon and I wanna see if I can pull lines on the balloon without popping it. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be using an assortment of the 11, 14, and 11 round shader. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one that's open which is this TNT. I believe this is gonna be a 14 round liner and I'm gonna be using the Profit T100 tattoo machine along with some dynamic black. I will leave links for you in the description below to the gear that I'm using on this end. And I'm gonna blow up a balloon and kind of continue this. 
During this exercise, we're gonna to have to do a lot of critical thinking so that way we get from point A to B successfully. The idea is to be able to put pigment or ink into this balloon right here without popping it. I recommend starting with a bigger configuration such as an 11 round liner and maybe on up from there. If you use a nine round, a nine round liner, that's fine as well. Whatever you have on your end, you can use. And again, the idea is to insert ink into this balloon without popping it. So what I'm gonna have to do is a lot of critical thinking. If I have a heavy hand, and then I'm gonna have to figure out how I need to adjust and then I'm gonna also find out that it's not about how deep I'm going into the skin to be able to get nice clean lines it has really nothing to do with how hard or how deep we are going into the skin although that is a variable it's not all about that for this demonstration I'm running at 7 volts and I'm gonna stay there and I have my needle hanging out that far right there as you can see and I'm gonna do my best to simply not pop this balloon and if you have a heavy hand, then more than likely we may pop it right away. Therefore, you're gonna have to apply some critical thinking to figure out another way to go about tattooing this balloon here. So allow me to begin tattooing this area and I'm gonna try to input a line. I've done shading, stipple shading on a balloon. I made a video about that. You can check that one out on my channel. This video is gonna be about lining and heavy hands. that I did notice about lining is that it's about a combination of hand speed and voltage of course needle depth is a variable within that equation there but it's not everything you're gonna notice that even with this very very thin balloon I may be able to get some clean lines on this balloon without popping it You can see I'm going back and forth on this line. I'm building up that line right there. And that one's a lot more saturated than the one next to it. But the idea is I'm still not popping this balloon. And this can actually gauge you um, or give you an idea of how hand, I mean how heavy your hand actually is. If you're going in there and you're popping it right away, then we have a little bit of work to do. You're gonna find that it's not about depth so much as it is about aligning depth with hand speed and voltage. So you can see I'm able to get these lines right here on this balloon. Allow me to zoom in here. And this is what I am currently working with. I'm going to stay zoomed in so you can see close up what I am doing here. You can see that I'm giving the needle time to work in the skin before I move on to the next. So I'm not even really focused on driving the needle into the skin. What I'm doing is I'm focused on the needle tip. When I feel it go into the layer of the skin, I begin to work the needle from there. Just like this. And you don't have to do long lines. You can do shorter lines like that if you want to. And you can see a lot of these lines, I'm layering them, meaning I'm sculpting them. I'm going back and forth on this balloon right here. And I'm still doing good with it. It hasn't popped on me yet and I'm just gonna kind of continue this and you want to do this for about 30 minutes I would pretty sure that if we do this 30 minutes every single day for a month by the end of that month we're gonna have a much lighter hand than we did at the beginning of those 30 days that's for sure the idea with this exercise is not to go for perfection I'm not trying to do any tattoos on this balloon I'm not trying to even do perfect lines but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some ink into the rubber of this balloon or whatever material this balloon is so uh, without popping it so that way it gives me an idea of how I'm going to approach human and or fake skin after this I don't want to just again drive that needle in there that's not what we want to do and I feel that that misinformation the idea that the needle has to go in a certain amount is what drives us to drive the needle in and again I think that it's just a little bit of misguided information there has to be a combination of depth aligned with hand speed and voltage you have to move at a certain pace the entire tattoo in order for it to be nice, consistent, cohesive. And you can see I'm getting used to it. I'm getting a bit more saturation now. I'm finding my groove on this specific balloon right here. So you can 
see I'm getting better with it. And this is just something that I'm going to want to keep doing over and over. And I'm feeling, I'm thinking every time to myself, there's a critical thought process going on. And I'm paying attention to the depth, I'm paying attention to the sound and feel of all of this when I'm doing it. I hope by now, if you do have a heavy hand, you can see that it's really not so much about being heavy. And it's, the idea so much behind it isn't that we had to drive the needle directly into the skin to get nice, saturated, consistent lines. I know this may be silly to some. However, for me personally, um, as a tattoo artist, I would much rather do this and develop a lighter hand as opposed to sticking with a heavy hand for my career. And that's just me to each their own. I always feel that there is a better way to go about approaching tattooing without a heavy hand. And I feel that this exercise is um, probably ideal to learn some fundamentals and to do the exact opposite of what a heavy hand would normally do. So like right now, I just have my pinky right here and I have the needle floating in the air. I'm trying multiple ways to go about applying lines the best way that I can. I'm not just doing one way over and over. I'm trying different applications. I'm trying different positionings. I'm also going to be going different directions. So I'm going to work this way on up away from me. There's a lot that we can do when we're pulling these lines. It doesn't have to be just the same thing over and over. You can see I'm going over these lines multiple times as well to really get as much pigment as I possibly can without popping the balloon. We don't want to pop the balloon. doing longer lines. So the balloon still feels tight. It looks like I'm experiencing minimal deflation at this current moment. And this is what I would want to do over and over and over. And again, I don't recommend overwhelming yourself with this. I don't recommend doing this for hours on end. Do this for about 20, 30 minutes. And then from there, go practice fake skin with the exact same approach. Don't really change it up. I would recommend having the fake skin ready to go. So that way you can just switch out and kind of uh, transition quickly. But for me personally, I do feel like this is a great way to go about developing a lighter tattoo hand. And if you are struggling with a heavy hand, I don't recommend beating yourself up. Take your time. Try to get some balloons and blow them up and practice doing this and um, see what you can come up with on your end. Apply some critical thinking and uh, some new techniques. Figure out a different way to hold your machine if you have to. You kind of get the idea with it all. Um, it's definitely achievable. Just be patient with the process. doing longer lines <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun to tattoo I will make another video on how I go about achieving clean saturated lines 
For this video, this is an exercise specifically on developing a lighter hand. I'm not going for the perfect line at all either. What I'm trying to do is I'm just simply trying to input the pig or in input the ink into the balloon without popping it. And all I'm focused on is this exercise. Right now, nothing else matters but simply trying to apply ink as best as I can to this balloon without popping it. And um, I can't emphasize that enough. If you take a look, none of these lines are perfect. The last thing that I'm going for right now is perfect. What I'm trying to do is just simply get used to the idea of not blowing up this balloon. I want I want to just focus on that aspect of this exercise. I don't want to pop this balloon here. I'm sure a lot of us are curious what it would be like to actually pop the balloon with a needle and let's go ahead and see if we can give that a shot here. So you can see we blew a hole into the balloon there and I could feel the air coming out now. So you get the idea there. So a heavy hand would typically be just that just tearing open the skin which is completely unnecessary if we took the time to practice these fundamentals you can see it. it's very very hard to blow it out like I'm very I'm struggling here I think that it's not popping because the size of the needle I wonder if I squeeze it and then poke it so there we go that's how I got it to pop but you can get the idea um, I struggled there to actually break the skin of this balloon right here so to be blowing out constantly on tattoos and to be kind of just there hurting the clients i feel is a bit unacceptable something as simple as these balloons can really expand the approach and the thought process behind a heavy hand i do really feel that this exercise can really help us reverse and or just avoid having a heavy hand all in general also please keep in mind that when we're tattooing balloons we're not trying to go for any artwork or we're not trying to do anything like that i mean you can lay down a stencil and try to follow it as best you can by all means i'm not discouraging you from doing that but understand that it is rubber it's not really accepting to ink however do the best that you can from point a to b apply your critical thinking and just try to get the best possible results that you can without popping the balloon focus on that aspect of the exercise after that i would recommend getting that exact same stencil or a stencil and putting it on some fake skin and then repeating the process of doing that tattoo and see what happens i can sit here and do this all day with you all however i do feel that the points have been relayed across i do feel like you all can get an understanding of what i was trying to say throughout this video so with that being said i will go ahead and conclude the video there i can personally sit here all day and tattoo this balloon with you all however i do feel like the points have been relayed i don't want to take up too much time from your day feel free to go ahead and implement this exercise on your end to see if you can develop a lighter hand or if you were struggling with a heavy hand to see if this would help you in a better direction if i didn't touch base on something specific or if you have any questions at all about anything that you may have saw or heard throughout this video i'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below i will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all i also have social medias under the same name as this youtube channel i would truly appreciate your support over there as well if you find my videos helpful and enjoy my content consider becoming a patron or sending over a super thanks to my family and i as we would appreciate your support with that being said thank you for tuning in have a great day